Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of A Dairy Man's Diary. My name is Frank, as always, and you join me as we have just been on an egg run this morning. We've uh, stocked up the farm shop, we've sold the rest of them down to our local distributor, and now we're just swinging back down to the chicken yard where we can uh, well, we drop off the trailer again and the crates that we have in the back for uh, kind of moving our eggs around. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here. Just look at that sunrise. It is absolutely stunning. It's a little bit after 8 a.m. Uh, and we're kind of, yeah, it's really going to be a really good day by all accounts. So that is always fantastic. Now we've got a few things in line, but first things first, we need to go and get some, uh, we need to unload these crates, drop off the trailer. We're going to go back up and we're going to pick up a John Deere. Uh, which one I need to figure out yet, but it's probably going to be the 68 because I think I'm going to need a front linkage as well. And uh, we're off to, we've bought a new drill. Uh, we're keeping our the same one, but we, we've bought something to help us put our maize in the ground because we are increasing our maize land. And we've had a little bit of an upturn in revenue of, rest, of, of late, so that's good. And it means that we can also, uh, where am I going with this? I just remember I need to, uh, we need to actually take these crates off here as well. Excellent, we're going to jump into our little skid steer. Glorious little thing this. Works like a charm. Starts on the, on the button. Lovely handy little tool just to be able to zip around here. Really, really is. Okay, and now... Uh So we typically sell these every day, uh, we're going to run there, we not, might not fill them both full, but they do both get uh, shipped away. Just means that we're able to, uh, it's a lot easier to handle them, to be honest, they get packaged up and they get put into these crates then and we're able to take them all away from that. Uh, it just makes everything a little bit easier on our side. Work smart, not hard, as the saying goes. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be trying to establish a little bit more of our own maze for uh, silage. Uh, we're going to start to put some more silage into the pit. So we do need to get that maze in the ground and uh, see how it's going to go. Elsewhere, all of our other crops are looking good. Those that have been drilled, uh, are I'm pretty happy with them to be honest. Uh, they're all looking quite good. Let's just stick this into here and then that is that done. So straight back should do it. All right, so we're gonna head back on up to the yard. We're gonna pick up a John Deere, go and find our new drill, which is just at the dealers up the road, actually. Uh, they'd be represented us in this transaction. So we are going to go and pick that one up. And uh, yeah, let's have a look, see what it looks like. Okie dokie then, so we're back in the yard. Uh, everything's kind of been put away at the moment. Uh, we're still waiting for a few parts for the John Deere to finish service. A few filters haven't come in yet, but uh, they should be arriving very soon. And yeah, we're probably going to be looking to fill this pit up here. But we have two silage pits, I figure we may as well use them. And if we get some maize in as well, it really does help for the, uh, uh, for the, uh, the cattle, for the livestock's uh, kind of growth and nutrients. The proteins are a lot more enhanced if we get a bit of maize into, the whole, into their diet. Uh, so we will go and use the uh, John Deere and take the 68, but what we might do first of all is just give it a bit of a blowdown with the pressure washer before we leave. Uh, obviously we could use the uh, New Holland to the T6 there, but it is currently on row crops and it is on the spreader as well. Uh, so that'll be going out, do a little bit more work when Terry gets in. It's starting a little bit later today. Uh, but we'll just stop this about here. Gotta take a nice uh, shiny new tractor to pick up a new bit of equipment. Couldn't possibly go the other way around. So how's everyone doing folks? Hope you're all very well and had a very good week or so. We weren't on the farm much last week so there wasn't actually a video from us. We were away. Had a few business uh, requirements away from the yard. Uh, a few meetings, things like that. And a lot of administration so left Terry here to kind of just look after things. Um, we were, we were away taking care of other needs, but uh, everything is swimming along nicely. Really get some great, great weather this autumn. It's stunning. Now we are a little bit late in planting this maize, so I'm not, going to, I'm not sure exactly how, how strong this crop will be, but we need to get something in the ground anyway, uh, and we'll see how it goes. We're not going to do the polythene over the top there, we're just going to plant it into the ground. 
and let it be. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed should be good. Now we're coming into our local Echo dealership here. And there it is. We have gone Lemkin, folks. Uh, brand new to us as well. Brand new full stop. I'll just go and have a look here. This is a, a new maze drill with uh, added fertilizer tank, hence the reason we bought the John Deere with the front linkage. Uh, but uh, this is our Ozit, uh, Ozurit 9, um, about, I think it's about 6 meters in working width. Now we need to get this set up in the workshop here because there's going to be some pipes that have to flow underneath the, uh, the chassis of the tractor to uh, hook up our fertilizer tank on the front. But I'm excited for this, I can't wait to see how it works. In, uh, it's it's going to look great on this tractor, I'm absolutely positive of that. But let's get this all hooked up anyway, uh, as much as I can do, and then we'll get the fitters in just to show me how... Uh, how the uh, pipes all connect together. I'm sure it's not too difficult, but where possible, I always have to get a little bit of uh, education first. Well, Frankie you can get squared up to that at the very least. We are expecting one new piece of equipment next week as well. This is the last of uh, our spending for the year. Uh, so keep your eyes on what might be coming there. It's pretty interesting. Oh, let's lift that back up again. Perfect. I think what we'll do is we'll just leave it unfolded for now. We'll get this one hooked onto the front, have a chat with the uh, mechanics about how this all works, and then we'll uh, we'll get us off on our way. We've got some ground to go straight into, uh, so we'll see what we can get up to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the yard there. We're just going to jump into our uh, pouch, the mighty pouch. Which isn't going to use as much now because we still do have the, uh, we've got another few days with the 416th, which is currently parked up in the cattle shed. Uh, it has been very, very heavily worked and it is an incredibly nice machine to drive. But um, yeah, we haven't used that too much. Oh, I am actually going to need to get blocked in my uh, bag grab there, so I'll have to use the pallet forks. But needless to say, it will be a big miss when it goes. We definitely can't afford to buy one of those. Um, but it will be disappearing. Today is Wednesday. That will be leaving us at the end of this week, I do believe. So we'll have to try and get some more use out of it somewhere. Um, ideally, I would have been hoping to get onto the ground. Spread, spread a little bit of muck, maybe. But uh, I don't think we're going to have that. Everything is kind of drilled at the moment anyway. Okay, let's see. So we're going to put some fertilizer into our front tank here. We do have some maize seed here as well. Okay, that's perfect. The new drill. So it looks pretty good when it's all set up and functioning on the 68. I think you'll agree. I really do like the looks of that. Get around here. Okay, I think we've got a little bit more room in there. We'll get one more, see how that goes anyway. Now we need to get some seed into the back there, obviously, as well. But then we'll be good to go. So we'll, there's a few fields we're going to try. One of which is on a bit of a nasty looking slope, actually. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Uh, so all we can really do is get on over there, have a crack. And uh, see how we get on. So we'll fill this up. And we'll come back to you when we're going to head into the field. to see how we get on with our own maze drill. Okay, then we're just going to take ourselves out here. There's a few small fields we're going to try and fill, just to make sure we've got this all dialed in properly. Make sure it's it's working as we expect it to. Uh, so we're going to head straight down the hill. Get ourselves nice and slowly. So this is six meters wide. This brand new. Some people out there watching may think this is a little bit too big, and it is just for our own work. But we are going to kind of add this to our contracting fleet. Really, see what else, uh, see what other work we can get coming in. Uh, now we're going to do these two fields here and here. Um, so let's start with this little guy on our left. And yeah, so we, the aim is that we can try and offer other dairy farms in the region a similar service. Uh, let's see. Ooh, and stop. Let's just put a handbrake on there. See where we can help them out there. Just kind of get us uh, working a little bit more off the farm, to be honest as well, because I think that's going to be very important for us uh, to diversify moving forward. So uh, it will be interesting to see how that goes. Oh, sounds like the army are back out above. There we go. There. Okay, so we we'll start over here. 
Now this one, we're just gonna kind of follow this field edge here for now. Like I said, it's not the biggest field in the world, so as a, as a kind of a, slit, a rough first attempt, we'll see how this goes. That's the wrong hydraulic lever. That's the one I want for my pipe. For my uh, ridge markers. Okay, so we'll stop up there. We are struggling for a little bit of grip coming up the hill here. Uh, might be because we are on the hill, but we're getting some traction as we get going, which is the main thing. Oh, we're going sideways a bit though. There we go, that's a bit better. Get it under control again. Okie dokie. Deer is struggling with this. Might need a little bit more weight on this tractor, I wonder. There we go. On the flat, it seems to be okay. Pushing along nicely. This field was worked over just with our cultivator twice, actually, there, just uh, in preparation for this. So, it uh, usually you might want to put a power harrow over it ahead of this, but uh, at the moment, that seems to be okay. Uh, it does seem to be working out there. And it, like I say, it's it, it gives us some benefits to the business at the yard right here, but it also allows us to really kind of diversify a little bit, get out to see some other farms, get into some other contracts, open up the door for some other work with set of the contracts, so... Uh, that's exactly what we really need uh, as a smaller business, that's for sure. We've done a lot of diversification over the course of the last, um, well, what would it be now? Uh, the last six months there, we've really kind of pushed out a bit. Which has been very good for the business, exactly what we needed. And so now, for example, we're gonna have we've got our orchard which is coming along nice actually, it's just starting to really settle in down there. We're gonna be looking into that in a little bit more detail. Uh, we've got the farm shop as well, which is starting to do wonders. Uh, it's, it's really starting to get a bit of passing traffic, which is good. Not the busiest of roads where we've uh, set up there, but there is some good passing traffic coming through. Uh, and then we've obviously got the we've got the chicken farm and the egg industry as well, so it's all starting to come together on that front. Uh, next and final bit of development really for us is for the uh, holiday home that is just coming up on one of our on our land down at the chicken yard as well. So that should be all that far away. Markers out as well, and off for the tough, tough slog up the hill. So you can see, though, this type of field really isn't going to take us too long. They're coming in at about six meters a hit, so uh, the only problem we've got is gotten some traction on this hill, which has proven to be tricky. Uh, however, we will continue and uh, we'll see how this is looking. Come back for a little bit of a review at the end. So what's working here, do let me know what you're doing, where you're working as well, if you are indeed in the region here, and what you're getting cracking along with. Uh, we have, like I say, we, earlier we did miss a week, so we have been kind of kept out of the loop a little bit. And so let me know how it's all going. Uh, we are, as always, very interested to know. Um, yeah, that's not coming too bad at all, actually. Uh, it's not going to take too long to get this field done at all. Watch my divider on the trees, that would be pretty poor. And there we go. All right then. Still struggling just to maintain some weight. What I think we'll do is look into some wheel weights for this. Obviously, the weight of the 77 would be ideal, but we just can't get it stuck onto there because of the uh, uh, lack of front linkage. Uh, but you'd have thought the weight on the front end with the fertilizer tank would have been sufficient. Uh, as you can see, we have a little bit of an issue around here, so we'll just try and square up. But there's Meadow Grove for you around here. We do struggle for hills uh, on occasions. And up it goes. Fantastic. So we are thinking about getting GPS put onto this, just so we can uh, we'll get going. Just so we can do things like this uh, vary rate a little bit better. Uh, 
get it all functioning a little, with a little bit more accuracy when it comes to maze in particular. It's certainly something I think is it's very appealing to me. Uh, oh, get around there, get around there. Come on, I'm just sliding down the hill here. So let's just go up to the top here. Small little field, just a little real kind of a, a sample to get going with. So we'll get the headlands done and then that'll be pretty much us all locked up, ready to roll. Uh, so what I do think we'll do is we'll leave it here. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. Been a bit all over the place today because we've got a lot of things to get caught up on. Uh, I have been Frank, your humble host. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and join Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you in the next one. So until then, have yourself a great day. Enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, happy farming.